I remember before, people used to hide it, conceal it, pretend it didn't exist, but we all knew it was there. The knots, the tangles, dangling bits. It was a dark time, my friends. One of frustration, of sagging standards, of high-priced proprietary solutions that never quite fit. It was then I shared my underwear. I wanted to give people some support and it worked for a while. But people wanted more, more options, more variations, more control. They wanted their own underwear. There was only one response to that. As you wish. Hey folks, yes, it's time for an update on my underwear. It's been viewed hundreds of thousands of times between my channel and other channels. Snazzy Labs wanted to try out my underwear and he loved it. It's been amazing seeing all the photos that you've sent of you using my underwear. And it's a delight to wake up every morning to see my inbox filled with photos of my underwear in people's homes across the world. Underwear has found its way into every corner. Taming cables in aquariums, scaling walls, stretching across ceilings, and of course, under desks. Actually, before I go on, I should say, if you have stumbled across this nutty community and have no idea what I'm talking about, it might be worth watching the original video up here. Otherwise, this will all sound very strange. Anywho, more importantly, there were hundreds of great ideas about how we could make underwear even better. For some people, they wanted more space for their cable girth and length. Others were super keen to be able to deal with the bends in their cables. Some wanted to mount things in their underwear and the list was endless. Now, doing this was actually super easy, but what I didn't want to do is just pile more and more models out there. I mean, there were over 10,000 potential variations. And as every engineer knows, complexity is the hallmark of engineering failure. So we needed to find a way to reduce the complexity whilst increasing flexibility. I also wanted to increase compatibility where possible. Too many solutions are trying to lock people into one solution. This is like the stupid era of the web, where IE6 was inventing its own standards and Apple was pushing theirs and all that. We should seek to create interoperability where possible, not create dead ends. And this is where the Guild came in. The Guild is a shadowy organisation of geniuses that I've assembled in my Discord channel, who are responsible for some of the best engineered designs out there. These are community-focused people who are designing to give back to the community. This is the core condition. Their work has to be community-centred, open source and free for everyone to enjoy. I won't go through the full roster here as there's loads of other secret projects in the pipeline that will let me mention others. But David D is obviously the original creator of MultiConnect, which remains my go-to for the best multi-board mount out there. But the hero of this video is Blackjack Duck, who's created something truly amazing. 
Instead of leaving you to sort through a drawer full of tangled, confusing files, this collection has been neatly folded into a series of programmatic generators, which I'm calling underwear designers. These allow you to create thousands and thousands of different variations, but from a simple web interface that anyone can use, even my dad. You simply choose the custom part you want, tweak the parameters and adjust your fit. And you've got yourself some stretchy underwear. Want it longer? Done. Taller? Easy. And if you've got a fat old droopy cables, then you can also make the channels wider. We've also added a number of new requested parts like Y channels, as well as the usual corners and curves. We've added diagonal channels, which was another great suggestion. And there are mitre channels, which will let you create beautifully seamless profiles that fit perfectly around the corners. If underwear labels are important to you, well, then you can even do that using the generator. There's a new mounting type that will allow a stronger grip if you fancy. In fact, many of you didn't want to use multi-board, so we've added the option to customize that too. Indeed, We've added the option to allow flat mounts for people with glass tables, magnetic mounts for people with metal tables, but we can also easily add any other mounting system that you'd find helpful. So shout in the comments if there's any other solutions that might be handy out there. Honeycomb wall system or screw mount systems, for example. This is the beauty of a code-driven approach here. Features can be deployed in seconds across thousands and thousands of parts. Blackjack Duck noticed that his IKEA wardrobe had holes exactly 25 millimeters apart. So, ta-da, he was able to add screw mounts to work with every IKEA unit. And everything remains backwards compatible with your existing underwear. Of course, you can use any color you wish. I'm particularly fond of my sheer underwear. The translucent filament is great for encasing the LEDs. Moving on to mounting, anything, this is the item holder. This holds literally anything. You can hold any power strip on earth and space. Seriously though, surely you astronauts have 3D printers in the International Space Station. So if I can get any photos of underwear being used to tidy up your rocket, that would be great. Every USB hub, every mini PC, laptop, keyboard, all you need are the dimensions. Then pick your options and shazam, a custom model is generated for you. As you can imagine, the potential here is limitless. My only ask is to share your remixes with the tag underwear. This will mean if someone else has, say, a Belkin USB hub, a Mac mini or whatever else, you'll save them the time and we'll be giving something back too. Now, this is only the beginning. We've got underwear drawers in beta, which are using the best 3D printed drawer system out there by a mile. But we've made it interoperable with standards like Gridfinity and Multiboard. We've got parametric cable hooks that you can customize too. And all of this is available completely free and it's open source. So don't be an undie taker. If you're adapting these files, it's important to be able to give back to the community. I hope you find this a useful update. Go and use the new generator, which you can access via my site and play around. Links are all in the description. And I'd like to give an enormous thanks to Blackjack Duck, who has been an absolute hero in coding all this. The guy's a genius and so helpful and accommodating. So if you do download this or use this on Maker World, make sure you click to boost him. He deserves every bit of credit you can give him, so boost him or I will hunt you down. Anything you'd like to see add to the comments and remember this is software now so we will add features all the time this will be constantly evolving which means that you'll also be able to get fresh underwear every time you visit the site of course you lovely patreons and youtube members will get early access to all of these thanks for hanging out guys and remember 
keep your dangly bits in check. And if you've got a fat old droopy <laughs> but from a simple 